Hey, hi, this is Krubakaran Rajendran, founder of Algo Training from SquareOfPods.com. In this video, I'm going to explain you how you can use ChatGPT4 to analyze any kind of historical data. So in this video, I'm going to take an example of Nifty historical data, the last one year data I'll download from NSC website. And then I'll try to perform various analysis like how you know, index has moved historically on you know, from Monday to Friday. On Monday, how much volatility was there? On expiry day, how much volatility was there? How many number of gaps was there? And how many number of times market reversed? So these kind of analysis you can easily run with respect to chat GPT-4. So I'm going to explain all this with a step-by-step -step process. So first we go to NSE website where I'll add this link in the description. You go to nseindia.com and you can look for the historical reports or you can just simply Google you no know, historical NSE data. It would show up this link only. So once you open this link, you select the index which you want to download the data. So I've selected Nifty 50 here and you can select the you no know, number of periods which you wanted to download the data. I've selected this year from January 1st to till date and then I clicked on go and it would automatically give me the list of data here where it would have the date, open, high, low, close values, shares traded and the total turnover. You can click on download which is automatically going to download the CSV file which we will use to upload it to the chat GPT to perform various data analysis. So we just need to upload the file which we have downloaded. So we just go and select the file which you wanted to upload it. And once it is uploaded, you mention the prompt, like whatever the analysis that you wanted to do, you can mention it here. For an example, I wanted to show what is the you know, overall monthly returns chart from January to till date. So I'll mention, please plot a bar graph that shows the summation of total returns month wise. So it would analyze the data and then it would give you, you know, a pictorial representation or a visual representation that shows what is the overall returns from month on month from January to December. If there are any errors in any specific columns, you don't need to fix it. The chat GPT itself would automatically fix those columns or data and rerun the necessary information and give you the overall returns. So here's the overall monthly returns where it shows that you no know, January and February it was you no know, three percent down, two percent down, and again March, April, May, June. So till November. It has plotted the overall returns, summation of overall returns from January to December. So basically, you just need to upload the file and ask what you want. It would automatically do the necessary analysis and it would give you. So as you could see, I have asked ChatGPT to show what are the number of days where the gaps are more than 1%. So it would exactly pull me that specific date when there was a gap up of 1%. So that happened on November 15th this year. So throughout this year, there were only one instance where Nifty has gapped up more than 1%. So throughout the year, the number of gaps was very, very minimal. Also, I've asked ChatGPT to find the volatility you know, on the day wise. For an example, I wanted to find out how much Nifty has moved from day open to day high and then from day open to day low. So this tells you like what is the maximum percentage of movement that has occurred in a day from Monday to Friday. So based on this, you will know when the volatility is high, whether on expiry days or non-expiry days. As you could see, this is the overall average maximum move of the day, you know, from Monday to Friday. Wednesdays and Thursdays seems to be having highly volatile compared to other days. So this shows that 1 DTE and 0 DTE is having a higher percentage of movement, you know, where market could go up from day open to, you know, high or day open to low where this percentage of movement is higher specifically on 1 DTE and 0 DTE with respect to Nifty 50. Also, you can perform detailed gap analysis. Like, you know, you don't need to mention the condition. You can just ask ChatGPT to run a detailed gap analysis with the given data and plot necessary charts. That is going to tell you, analyze the frequency of you no know, gaps. Like this is the histogram of you no know, gap percentage, which has shown that the maximum gap down that has occurred is you know, approximately less than 1%, which is approximately 0.8% minus, you know, minus 0.8%. And on the upside, 1% is the maximum gap that we have seen. And most number of times, we haven't seen a you know, huge gap. It is very, very minimal. So it is concentrated anywhere between minus 0.25 to plus 0.50. That is where the maximum number of gaps has been. So this also shows you how many number of occurrences where we have seen large gap up or large gap down or whether there are any gaps at all. So all these things you can easily 
perform using chat gpt so all you have to do is give the necessary prompt it will do the analysis for you and also it tells you the detailed analysis like there are 72 instances how many number of instances we have seen gap ups how many number of instances we have seen gap down so all these things you would be able to see it so another interesting part is now we can even perform behavioral biases with the given data so behavioral bias is nothing but how does the overall crowd behaves or how people make irrational decisions when market moves exorbitantly on one way so you would be able to see the momentum bias the overreaction so all this bias you would be able to perform a detailed analysis say for an example in this video you know in this specific uh, prompt i've just asked gpt to perform behavioral bias with the given data that's all i did not ask anything else then it gone through the given data set and then it, it has looked for you no know, certain days where you no know, there were large moves of price has happened and when such large moves happened was there any follow through movement that has happened in the same direction so it primarily was looking for momentum movements in the market so if for an example if market moves 1% on that day for the coming following next couple of days did the market move in the same direction on the upside so that has shown that there were large number of frequencies of occurrences that has happened where large move days has occurred which in turn shows that yes momentum exists where you know most of the time when there is a large move in one sided direction then in the coming days there would be a similar move on the same side directions so these kind of analysis also greatly helps you to you know refine a strategy or you know create a strategy you can also perform a detailed statistical analysis where i've asked chat gpt to perform a detailed statistical analysis with the given chart and plot the necessary charts where it has plotted the daily returns from you know the from january to till date and using a histogram chart where it has shown where the maximum number of returns has been most of the times the returns are you no know, on a very narrow range and also it would you no know, do a complete box plot of daily returns and it would tell you where the mean median and everything has been as you guys know i'm always a rule based trader where i don't make any trading decisions without analyzing any set of data so with respect to upsearch.club where i have created a course for them focusing specifically on how to create your own trading strategies where i have explained set of trading rules focusing on bank nifty futures how you can create your own trading systems as step by step rules that explains what is the strategy behind this intraday bank nifty futures strategy how one can trade it even with respect to you no know, manually without any need of any third party tools so by going through this course you would be able to access all these relevant informations so far more than 2000 people have already enrolled for this course i'm sure definitely if you are looking for a start for a rule based trading strategy this course should be definitely helping you out i have already included all the details in the description you can go through that and enroll for this course and another easy way to find how the volatility in the market has been is using you no know, average true range where i have just asked chat gpt to you know perform average true range analysis with the given data and plot the specific chart where it has plotted the overall average true range from january to till date where we have seen the volatility is going down slowly so at the beginning of the month january and february the volatility was high considering the run up towards budget but post that event we have seen a very normal average true range so overall volatility has been totally going down on a day by day so this also illustrates that the fear with respect to market participants has gone down considerably so that is why we aren't seeing any kind of you know wild gaps or wild move with respect to nifty See, the only way to create a robust trading strategy is to observe how the market has behaved in the past and in order to observe how the market behaved in the past you need to study the historical data but you no know, earlier people only who are aware of statistical knowledge or people who are aware of python coding they were the only person who used to do all these kind of data analysis but with chat gpt4 you don't need to know coding you don't need to know any kind of deep excel data analysis you just ask with the respect to you know a necessary prompts what you really want with respect to those data and chat gpt would do all the analysis for you just like how i have explained in this video so if you haven't tried it try you know with respect to chat gpt make sure that you have subscribed to the chat gpt4 version which is a paid version because chat gpt 3.5 it's more of like a, you know a chatbot where you ask certain prompts it responds back with the necessary answers but with chat gpt4 you can do these kind of data analysis by uploading the files so i hope you found this video really helpful so i'll see you guys next week with another video bye